Hi folks, Harry Frank from Red Giant, and in this tutorial I'd like to show you the new Lens Designer for Null Light Factory 3.0. To access it, simply click on Options in the Effect Controls, and you'll have the Lens Designer window pop up. Over on the left side, we've got the Lens Flare Presets. These are divided into several different categories that range from motion graphics, natural light, action and sci-fi, etc. These presets are all put together using components found over on the right. So I'll, you'll notice all of the old elements that you remember, such as glow ball, spike ball, etc. But there's a few new ones in here, if we scroll down, such as rectangular spread, horizontal spread, that kind of thing. Tilted ellipses is a new one, barrel is a new one. And for each of these, if I select the component, I'll get the controls for that individual component down here. Each component has a separate set of controls unique to that type of component. So tilted ellipses has its own set, rectangular spread has its own set. So as you click around, you'll find that different components have a different number of controls. If I solo these rectangular ellipses, let's just turn up the brightness so you can see these a little better. When we are using position, a value of 1.0 follows the light source one to one. A value of negative one follows the light source in an exact contrary motion. A value of zero locks the component right in the center. So let's set this to negative one and unsolo that. By default, Null Light Factory tracks all of the components in terms of their position in both X and Y. So as I move my light source around, this rectangular spread is following the position in both X and Y. I can limit this to just one axis or the other axis. I can also offset in X and Y as I would like. I can adjust the vertical spread, the horizontal spread, so I can spread these out or squeeze them together. And the brightness is pretty high right now, so let me just turn that down. Realistically, this should have a slightly higher vertical spread and a much higher horizontal spread. Most of these are very self-explanatory. Things like horizontal aspect, softness, vertical aspect, so we can stretch them out as well as the number of elements and the random seed. There's also a hue offset to change the color randomness in the component. So let's dial this down. Let's bring these down quite a bit. And next let's look at some of the new parameters here. Vertical poly spread is very similar to the horizontal poly spread, but it's distributed from the light source point through the center of the screen. Lens texture allows us to actually add texture to the screen. Let me turn up the brightness. All of the lens textures are designed to seamlessly repeat, and this is defined in the texture density. So if I turn the texture density all the way down, I'll turn down the brightness. Now we can control the scale of the area that is being illuminated. And if you'd like to take the guesswork out of that, you can actually show the mask that is revealing the lens texture. So as you explore the new version, you'll find a number of new components in here, like I mentioned. Barrel, tilted ellipses, horizontal spread, rectangular spread, vertical poly spread, and the lens texture. A significant new one, though, is called Image Sprite. And what this allows is for you to load any image as a component in your lens flare. Now, fortunately, there are a number of sprites already loaded in here. So if you go to the Sprites section, you'll see that there are lots of different sprite images that you'll be able to use and simply drag into your lens flare. You can even tint it a little bit, scale it, um, scale it, adjust the position tracking like I showed you before. Now with any of these, if you have settings that you really like, 
for example, this uh, rectangular spread, if this is a digital artifact that you'd like to be able to use, all you have to do is go to that rectangular spread controls, click on save, and we can save this back into the element categories here. So this is a spread, so I could call this digital artifact. In fact, if you go through these categories, you'll see that there are a number of variations saved for each of these parameters just to get you started and get you some ideas of what these different components can do. Now you notice I'm not adjusting this on top of any sort of image. Up here I have a background option to load an image. Now if I go back to my After Effects composition, if I select this layer and I turn it into an adjustment layer, so if I have this set as an adjustment layer, this adjustment layer is seeing the image of all of the layers below it. That's just how After Effects works. So if I go into my options here, we should see the layers below all loaded in as my background image. We also have ways to fine tune our lens flare if we'd like to simulate the brightness scale color controls that you have available in the effect control interface. So that about covers it. That's the new lens designer interface for Nolite Factory. So as you can see, it's a very visual interface, but very minimal. It tries to stay out of your way, but I'll offer you a lot of visual options for designing your lens flares. So I hope you enjoy using it. My name's Harry Frank for Red Giant. Thank you so much for watching.